Hi everyone, uh, my name is Victor Gundele and I welcome you to Time Out with Victor on Financial Modeling and welcome to the Financial Modeling uh, Bootcamp uh, program which we've titled Operational Financial Model with Project Finance Concept um, and I say a very big welcome to you. Uh, this document uh, will be attached alongside the email you will be getting soon and uh, please note that this is not like a test or something uh, this is to let you know that yes you've been admitted into the uh, bootcamp and this is more like a pre uh, a session right which we call pre-session one and basically this is just trying to uh, upskill us in being able to develop a simplified three financial statement and also uh, understand how you build out your three uh, financial statements I always count that as one of the core skills needed for a financial modeler and your ability to be able to build out a three financial statement uh, more like you being a, a sound accountant because if you don't understand the three financial statements uh, it can be very difficult for you to uh, understand what the whole modeling is all about uh, especially when it comes to a uh, financial model here we have simple three instruction one build out uh, the simplified model with the assumption that you've been given uh, you can also uh, add your own right but just make sure uh, you're not going out of the line uh, go to each of the worksheets uh, go to the first one go to the guide worksheet i'm still going to take us through that and then go to the model worksheet solve the the problem the business problem and then uh, link your output link it to the financial link it to the financial statements and then if you have any observations add any analysis just more like you're advising the uh, the the business owner you can just put that in the observation workbook so let's go to the guide so this guide is just to give you uh, a description as to what the data in the model what the uh, what they are saying so first input cell at good cell that can be changed or updated then you have data that are linked from another workbook or another cell uh, or another worksheet i mean and then you have your formula cells which more like result of function then you have your uh, subtotal and your total uh, okay then just the mod uh, about the model information the business name the location the model currency uh, when they plan to start the business the forecast period is over 10 years so you are doing it on annual basis then you have your unit division a thousand division if you want to put your own email up you can also update this uh, then here we have the more like the main where you are building the main model doing your calculations right you have your input uh, for example i just give us an example here i have my sales i have my price and it's telling me apply the gross formula in forecasting the product price and this is more like the formula for us to whenever you want to uh, make any growth uh, forecast now this is a business that is in, into coffee um, they are selling right more like a distributor so they buy directly from the they buy directly from the business owner or uh, uh, from the manufacturer and they sell to the read more like selling to the retailer direct to customer so here you've been given the price usd per unit all you need to do is to forecast for the other period so for example my forecast is starting from here so all i need to do is type equal to my previous period multiplied by open my bracket one plus my annual uh, expected increment and i will drag that across all right so attention to details it's more like a well simplified case study so here quantity calculate the units on yearly basis using the month input and forecast the annual units for the forecast period so they've given us the expected units per month and this is based on year one 500 units then they said um, i need to convert that into annual considering i'm building an annual model so all i need to do is quote to my 500 multiply by i think i created 12 months somewhere uh, in my workbook yes so you can link it to that or so first you bring the 12 months here but don't type inside the formula uh, always remember that okay you can i'll leave it i'll leave it to that so it's well simplified i'll just run through so income statements we forecast your sales cost of sales just like normal way accountants would would have done if they are creating their uh end of the month report right so that's the same approach you're also uh, doing here and it's to also gauge our accounting knowledge the ability to be able to create a simplified three financial statements 
using uh, given data so depreciation interest expense uh, tax expense there are some you don't need to do calculation you just need to link directly so you go to the balance sheet property plant and equipment inventory trade receivables you have your debt you have your trade receivables capital contribution so you do all those in your model work sheet and then you go to your output where you have your three financial statements your income statements you just link them directly to what you've calculated so please keep in mind to follow uh, financial models best standard which you call fast f-a-s-t all right so make sure you apply that in completing this model so balance sheets and your cash flow so once you're done right so you look through the financial statements uh any observation you have right any advice for the business if they are good to go ahead what's what's forming your uh the base as to why you are giving that uh, that suggestion right so uh, that's all you need to do and once you're done you need to share this back you need to send this back to me uh, right because that's what we are going to use for the next art uh, session that we are going to have so only people that submit this activity would be uh, admitted into the next session once again i say very big welcome to you